Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with Kansas City artist, author, and musician Ava Bell Ramsey of the Mutual Musicians Foundation. She talked about their new website launch, MutualMusiciansLive.com, and how they have shot a documentary the day of the Centennial Open House. Part one is now up on their blog and website. She also discussed the 2017 programming in honor of the Foundation's 100-year anniversary. This includes two upcoming tours of Bebop and Beyond on September 1, 2017. That's the Parting from Union Station. She had many thoughts on the foundation, Kansas City Jazz, and much more. So get to know her and dig this interview, my friends. Thanks for taking a minute out. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem. So it sounds like a lot's going on. You got a new promo video, you got a new website, the Charlie Parker celebration's kicking off here this weekend. Talk to me about what's going on. What's the good news? I mean, the good news is just that we're in full swing for centennial programming, our centennial celebration. The the website is getting great, great traffic, and um, we just, one, wanted to come on and talk to you about it and let people know about MutualMusiciansLive.com, and that was just part one of our documentary. So um, monthly, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be monthly, we will have part two, part three, part four, until we show uh, the entirety of what happened at the uh, Centennial Open House. Give me an idea of what's happened to the website. What, how is it revamped, and, and what are you going to do for the 100 year? First and foremost, we, we really want to this website, the rebranding, to be about the Mutual Musicians Foundation, the music and the artists and the history, the legacy, so we've done that. Um, first, there's the MF Artist tab, and you might have seen we have quite a few members who have put out projects, who are working on projects that will release this year, uh, early 2018, or who have already released this summer. You you had James D. Conker on already, and he's released like his fourth in his Opus series. Um, Ernest Melton released Melting Sun. Um, Desmond Mason, he just won the award for um, Hot 103 Next. He's just kind of all over with his group, Soul Revival, and then he's still independently producing. Um, there's a lot going on with Tyree uh, Johnson and Groove 101. And, of course, you can see... Um, the Manning, <laughs> he's, and I, I always start to call him by his Facebook name, but um, he's definitely all over playing live. And then myself, I'm not just, you know, the designer, the the social media person. I also sing, so I've got a project coming out called Black and Gold. It'll be out before the 1st of January, 2018. So there's just a, a lot of refocus that has happened as far as the artist shifting, not just from live performances and gigging, but putting out projects, people who should have, you know, maybe had a project a long time ago, and it's just very, very good music, and we're excited about it. So what are you doing in this revamp to get ready for the 100-year celebration? What's going to happen? Well, we've already we've already done our kickoff. That open house happened April 30th, which we celebrated along with International Jazz Day, so it was it was a really, really good time that day, April 30th. And, again, everyone will get to see that um, as we roll out part one and so on and so on, uh, so on and so forth uh, as it comes. But just basically tying in our celebrations um, with International Jazz Day, that was a great way to kick that off. And we're also looking to release a project ourselves. And we've already that's already underway. Um, of course, the radio station, we're already live streaming. We play a wide variety of music, um, of course, jazz, of course, our member music. Um, but we will be on 104.7 here soon. And aside from that, we've kind of joined forces with Kansas City Tour Company. And so we've got our first Friday tour stop. We have a concert here. We do some craft cocktails. We show our original documentary kind of as a teaser and they get to learn about our history 
and how that ties in to um, the history of jazz in Kansas City. Um, this next one, the theme is going to be Bebop and Beyond. So, again, that's September 1st. And there's going to be two tours that leave Union Station, and the final stop is here. The first one, we did have uh, Brian Parker, Charlie Parker's grandson. He was here with us, and we introduced our first craft cocktail, the Parker. So um, that was really, really exciting, really well received. We've also been making some partnerships as far as music therapy with uh, the TNC community. Uh, our, some of our artists have been going to play, uh, Trio's been going to play to provide some music therapy, not only for um, the residents, but for staff as well. And, I mean, I could go on and on and on. What else do you want to know about? <laughs> no, that's cool. No, that's good. That, that gives me a good overview, and I think that when folks go to your website and take a look at what's going on and look at these video segments, they're going to get a good idea of what's going on. But what I want to ask you is, is that, you know, obviously with 100 years, that's quite a history that you've had there. What are you looking for, let's say, here in the next five to ten years for the progression and evolution of the foundation? I think that, that we will be able to really, really teach. We'll be able to provide live music, and this is everything that we've been doing. Um, you're going to see merchandise from us, uh, again, things that we've been doing and haven't stopped as well as the radio station. So just a full on, all across the board, the whole spectrum from merch to music to communication, uh, multimedia, that's uh, what the Mutual Musicians Foundation was destined to become, kind of being the heart of 18th and Vine and jazz music in Kansas City. So just really, really showing who we are, what we do, uh, what we give to the community, and definitely how the community supports us, but supporting our community through music and education and communication and uh, jazz music and the black American experience. So obviously the foundation has been a huge advocate for the health and evolution of jazz music over the last hundred years, and more specifically, obviously, in Kansas City being in the jazz district of 18 of Vine. What do you see as the health and vitality of jazz, not only in America, but in Kansas City here in 2017 as we speak? I think that it's just waiting. It's, it's just waiting for us to really give it the energy that it deserves. I think that that's, that's what it's waiting on. And I think that every so often, um, from what I've seen, you know, in, in Kansas City, there are people who tune in, there are people who direct their passions and their energy towards it, and sometimes it's faltered, sometimes it's fallen off, but I feel like we're in a really, really good place right now with jazz music for it to grow, for it to just, you know, take its proper place. I don't, I don't, I don't know a better way to say it. I feel like as long as we give jazz music in Kansas City the proper energy and the proper respect, we're going to see a change in Kansas City as a whole because that's kind of, that's what we're known for, but we don't always treat it the best. Yeah. So I feel like once we, once we do that, we direct our passions, our energies, our time, our talent, and understand that it's our treasure – then it's going to it's, it's going to do us all well, um, but but it won't until we respect our our legacy. I want everyone in Kansas City to go get a Centennial Tea. <laughs> there you go. What I want. There you I go. I want everyone. To, you can go online. We have links all over our Facebook, which is Mutual Musicians Foundation. And um, if you go to the website, MutualMusiciansLive.com, right at the top there's a button. I want everyone in Kansas City wearing that Centennial tee. I mean, it's just, it's so classic. It's our sign that hangs right up above the, the cage when you come in. I call it the cage. But um, right when you come in the front door. And 
I just think that it's, it's just, it was simple, but everyone loved it at the open house. So yeah, we're, we're on our second print, second printing of the tea. So I'm, I'm just super excited about it. And I'm right excited now. about the music. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's a great way to wrap everything up. Thanks for taking a minute out today. I'm looking forward to profiling this on the show. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks for listening and tuning in to yet another Neon Jazz interview, where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players in New York, Kansas City, and spots all over the world, giving fans all that jazz. And thanks to Ava Bell for her time and her stories. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino on the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.